Ebbs to Rome, welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time we made our way through the Demon Ruins, we took out three bosses and we died a couple of times in most amusing fashion, because frankly, that's what I do. I die in stupid ways. So anyway, you may remember last time I mentioned saving Solaire, and you know, kind of spoilers here, but we are at that stage in the game where you'd find out either way, so basically if you don't donate 30 humanity to this chick, and then go through the shortcut and kill a specific enemy, Solaire will die to that enemy. Kind of. It, it's hard to explain, but basically it sort of latches onto his brain and turns him insane. He doesn't necessarily die, it's more the fact that you kill him, you don't have to kill him, but either way, he is doomed. And I want to save the guy because I've never actually done it, so I'm going to pop all my humanities, donate them all to this chick, and it's going to take freaking forever. I'll cut it out and I'll show you what happens when we are done. Okay, final one. Holy shit, that took forever. Now, we have five left if we need to turn human. Hopefully we won't waste those. And we get Chaos Storm. And yes, I equip the old witch's ring so we can understand her, because I think she may have some new dialogue now, which I'm kind of interested to see. Yeah, she was kind of hot, and I'm sorry, she attacked me, goddammit. Okay, so that seems to be about all the new dialogue she has. So yeah, basically, if you donate enough humanity to her, she will become healthy again, and that way, she's not dying. But, uh, she can never actually die in the game unless you kill her yourself, but, uh, oh, apparently, this is open now. Okay, color me confused. I never actually opened this. This is the shortcut that we could have gone and opened before the centipede demon, but I didn't because frankly I'm a lazy son of a bitch. I really should have done. But either way, it's open now, so I guess you get that one as well. But basically, this is not the shortcut that we need to go save Solaire. That's a different one. It's actually a doorway wall, like a giant hole in the wall, just to the right of the entrance to where the demon fire stage is. So we go there, we go to the right, there's a big stone door. Normally you can only open that door from the other side, and then it's too late to go save Solaire. Now we've paid her 30 humanity, we can now open it from this side at least. That's what I understand. I guess we will see. And yes, this is the room where the demon fire stage was. Good lord, I hate that guy. Okay, so whilst we're running here and there's not a whole lot going on, there's something I wanted to cover. There's a couple of comments I've had recently, and I meant to mention this before, but frankly, I just either didn't have time in the episode, or I just outright forgot, because I'm very, very forgetful. But basically, a couple of people have mentioned to me, Hey dude, after you finish this run, you should do, you know, a faith playthrough or strength or whatever. Guys, it's like the middle of January. Dark Souls 2 comes out in early March. By the time I finish this Let's Play, Dark Souls 2 is either going to be out or very close to it, so we are going to jump straight into Dark Souls 2 once we finish this playthrough. I'm not saying I'll never come back to Dark Souls, it's entirely possible that I might. It depends, if Dark Souls 2 is really good, maybe I'll spend all my time on that one, but uh, yes, if it sucks, I'm sure I'll come back and do another playthrough of Dark Souls one day, but uh, yeah, this is going to be the last one for a while at the very least, because damn it, I want to play Dark Souls 2, and we are going to play the shit out of that game. Okay, so I believe, yes, we can now touch the door. Open sesame. I don't get why it looks like my character's pulling something out of their pocket. I mean, I guess that's just a reused animation, but it doesn't seem right to me. Okay, moment of truth. Is Solaire here? No, he's not. Honestly, I'm starting to kind of worry that the guy's gone and died somewhere. I don't really know how the hell he'd do that, but basically, you may remember I mentioned you can summon him from the centipede demon. When I ran past the bit of curly root that his sign was supposed to be in, someone pointed out to me the sign wasn't there. So, yeah, anyway, if you want to save Soleil, you have to kill that uh, maggot thing, whatever the hell they're called, that drops the sunlight maggot helmet. That one right there with the glowing red eyes that I just killed. Assuming you've killed that, before Soleil comes and gets it attached to his head, then you should save him. At least, that's what I understand. But yeah, anyway, so his sign didn't actually appear to summon for the centipede demon, and he wasn't at the bonfire after it, so... I'm kind of worried he's gone and died somewhere. I don't know how the hell he would do that, but... Uh, I don't see him, like, anywhere, so I guess we'll find out later in the game. I'm trying to remember how many more bosses we can actually summon him for. I've got a strange feeling it might be only the final boss, which, again, you actually have to save him here to do that. I don't know where we'd find him. Maybe he'll be back at the Sunlight Altar. I really have no goddamn idea, but yes, I don't know where he is, and I'm worried he's gone and died. Anyway, so this is Lost Isleth. We would usually, had we not used that shortcut, have to run around on the lava down there like a tent of trance with the orange charred ring or whatever the hell it's called. We don't have to do that, and frankly, there is not a whole lot down there. You are not missing much. However, there is one good item. Well, maybe two. It depends on your perspective. There's a humanity down there. I think there's twin humanities, actually. There's also an item called a Soul of a Great Hero, I think. Basically, 20,000 souls. So we are going to want to go and grab that later, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Yes, this guy is the only demon Titanite in the game that actually respawns, and it always drops two. And hey, we got the Titanite catch ball again. That thing, not a very good weapon, but kind of fun as hell. And you see those guys down there, that's what Lost Isolith is full of, and you do not want to fight those guys. 
They are dangerous as shit. I don't think any of them respawn. I think you get 2,000 souls, and I don't think they have any drops. Basically, they are literally the arse ends of the undead dragons. I'm not kidding. If you look at them, they are the exact same thing. I don't know why. I think they're called the Bounding Demons. People just call them Dragon Butts colloquially. But yes, they are dragon asses. Don't know why. I guess they just ran out of freaking ideas when they got to this point. They're like, shit, Bill. What do we fill Lost Eyes left with? I don't know. Stick a bunch of dragon asses in there. That'll do. Okay, so these little guys are the ones we fought before that I mentioned can stunlock the shit out of you with their fire, and it actually does do quite a bit of damage, but they're extremely slow and very easy to kill. Shit! <laughs> I did not mean to fall down here. I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't think it was going to happen quite that quickly. Well, balls. Okay, now there is a route you can climb up to get back up, but uh, I can never actually seem to find how to get on the damn thing. Hello? Root, are you around here? Okay, and by the way, you do not want to drop down that pit by accident. Those guys down there don't respawn, the rest of them do, but uh, if you see that some of them, that is a giant mouth, I believe you can actually fall in that and get eaten. I've never actually done it, I don't want to do it, but yes. Basically, if you want to finish uh, Sigmire's storyline, you literally cannot kill these guys before Sigmire is here. He will show up here at some point. Make sure you leave at least one of them alive, otherwise he will never jump into the pit to go and kill them, and then you can't proceed with his storyline. So yes, remember, if you want to do Sigmire's storyline, leave at least one of those alive. Don't forget that, they will not respawn, and they are dangerous as shit. They have a grab attack, and like I say, you can fall in their head and get munched on. That's some scary shit. Don't do that. Oh, and before I forget, we are about to get attacked by Kirk again. You may remember I mentioned three times he will attack you. If you kill him every single time, you will get his armor set. The armor set appears at the dead end, back where the uh, Daughter of Chaos is, the chick we just gave third humanity to. So if you want the armor set, make sure you are human here. And again, just like the last time, you have to kill him in the place before, otherwise he will never show up. At least, I don't think so. Anyway, this right here is another one of the Daughters of Chaos. This one doesn't respawn. Boom! And she is dead already. Holy shit! And yeah, we don't know what her name actually is, but she's wearing the robes that the rest of them wear, and she's right outside the boss room to her mother, so it seems incredibly likely that she is one. It's not confirmed, but uh, it seems very, very unlikely that she wouldn't be. And there goes Kirk. See ya, buddy. How many souls do we get for this guy? I think you actually get, like, a hell of a lot. Yes. Yes, you do. All right, then. Okay, let's go kill this octopus thingamajig. They actually have a name, just like everything, but I'm damned if I can remember what the hell it is. You get away from me, you scumbag. They have a spit attack as well, by the way. Damn! They keep killing things way quicker than I expected. They have a spit attack. I think that Kuroji gear, not entirely sure, never actually been hit by it. And frankly, I don't wish to be. Anyway, there we go. We get Chaos Fire Whip. I believe that's literally just like other pyromancies, except it's kind of like a fiery whip, as you might imagine from the name. Anyway, we are about to take on the Bed of Chaos, and I'm warning you now. Most annoying boss in the entire fucking game. I'm not kidding. This thing makes me rage like you wouldn't believe. Normally, I do not get angry in games. This is one of those bosses that just makes me angry. It's so much bullshit. But we are going to do our best here, goddammit. I really probably should go for maximum movement speed, but we'll give this a try. Basically, there are three stages to this boss fight. It's not really a boss exactly, it's more of a puzzle with a bit of platforming involved, which mostly involves you falling down giant freaking holes in the ground. Basically, you have to run to one side, hit a thing once, run to the other side, hit another thing once, run to the middle, the ground will crack, then you run and jump on the roots, run down the center, and kill the boss. That's all you have to do. Sounds real easy, right? Well, it can be. I've definitely done it all in one go before, but mostly it's just about luck more than anything, really. I'm sure there are people just like everything in every game ever that can do this first time every single time, because they know where all the fun- You bitch! Because they know where all the pits and shit are going to appear. Oh shit! Da -da 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 -da. Okay, well we're alive. We didn't exactly gain any HP, but we're alive. <laughs> it's going to happen again. God damn. Okay, we have to get out of the way. Otherwise, we're going to be in an endless chain here. Okay, that very nearly hit me. Yes. Just like every boss, you can avoid the hands. The hands really aren't that much of a problem. They can knock you down the pits of doom, though. It's the pits of doom. That is the problem here with this goddamn boss fight. So there we go. One stage down. That's the easy part. Now this is where shit gets serious. Run. Just run. Anyway, so yeah, if you look very closely at the cutscene, it was like a woman's fiery torso at the top of the tree. That's the Witch of Isolith, the mother of the Daughters of Chaos. She has become the Bed of Chaos because in Dark Shit, that was close. Ouch! That was a lot closer. Heal. Okay. We're gonna be fine. 
we might not be fine. Anyway, so in Dark Souls, pyromancy is like black magic. It corrupts the users, and sometimes they get mutated into the monsters, and, you know, their minds get warped and that sort of thing. So that's what happens to the spider ladies, and that's what happened to her. Shit, that was close. Some people are not susceptible to it, but uh, a lot of them are. Oh, shit. Okay, just check that freaking Estus. Now go. Holy shit. Now you may remember that there is... Oh, good lord. Damn it. <laughs> Bitch. Well, crap. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta run all the way back there. Anyway, what I was gonna say was, there's a couple of them in the game that look human, at least compared to the mother and the spider people, but uh, you gotta remember they're wearing hoods, so we don't know what they look like under there. They could be complete freaks. But yes, most people, if not all of them, get corrupted by pyromancy, at least eventually. Anyway, I'll see you when we get back to the goddamn bus. Okay, I'm back, and I'm naked, and I'm pissed. Praise the freaking bum. I'm hoping the maximum movement speed here is gonna make all the difference, because, uh, being slow certainly didn't help last time. Shit! <laughs> oh, god damn but I hate you. Okay, round three, and I don't know why, but for some damn reason my souls were at the very top of the ramp. I don't get it, but whatever. Okay, run. Just run. Yes, you can see. Oh, shit. You can actually roll through the hands, but, uh, Really hard to get the one. Oh, you bitch. Damn it. Round four. Fight. And yes, I am having to kill that goddamn Tana demon every single time on the way back. Good lord, it's annoying as hell. Ouch. Okay, completely missed. Damn that. Chug a friggin' Estus, then run like here. Yo, 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 roll. That's not rolling. That's getting hit by the goddamn hand. Okay, don't hit me. No, 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 Just keep rolling. Okay. Fred Durst it, goddammit. Run. <laughs> Holy shit. Good lord, I hate this section so damn much. Okay, we're there. Just don't slam your damn hand down on my head. Yo, yo, yo. That was very nearly right down my head. And gotcha. Two down, one to go. And yes, she is gonna kick it up a notch now. This is gonna suck. And we have, like, no freaking stamina. Holy shit. That was close. No, 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 no. Not the fire, not the fire, not the fire. Damn it. Why? That stuff always freaking one hits me. God damn, I hate you. Okay, good news we've only got the middle left. Bad news is she's gonna do that. <laughs> oh, what the hell, man? That is so damned unfair. That sucks. Usually she does that on the ramp as you're coming down, it doesn't hit you, but uh, she didn't do it that time, so I just got one shot. God damn, what a bitch. Okay, we're back, and yes, I did lose like 86,000 goddamn souls. You fucking asshole. I did lose like 86,000 goddamn souls last time because of that bullshit. Okay, at least she's done now. Just get. What? Oh my god. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. So much. Okay, we're back again. This time I've changed all of my gear. We have Havel's ring on so we move quickly. We have the robes on for fire resistance. And we have the flame stove plate ring on for the same damn thing. Probably not going to make any difference whatsoever. But screw it, we're going to try anyway. Okay, run like hell. Okay, dodge that one. Now we have an opening. Go. Just go. Don't roll off the edge. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's looking good. Now, you can get hit by that fire that comes out of the ground down here if you are not quick enough, so we are going to have to go like hell. We have, like, no damn stamina. That's not good. That's very, very bad. Okay, get through the goddamn things. Do you? Yes! Finally! God, I hate you. I hate you so much. You bitch. Okay. Thank God for that. She is finally down. Holy shit. Worst boss ever. Okay, it's like the goddamn bonfire. Calm the hell down and use some of our souls. I want to save most of these because I want to go buy all the spells from Logan so we can get the other good shit. But uh, yeah, I think yes. Now we can actually equip another thing because we have enough achievements. Okay, that boss man. <laughs> goddamn boss. Gotta hate it. Alright, I guess we're going home with Somas for now because we don't really have anything else to equip. Okay, I get the feeling the video is probably going to be a little bit on the short side after I edit out all of my freaking deaths and running back. So I guess we'll end the video with a quick run through Lost Eyes Lift, just for anyone that wants to see it. Plus, that way you know where to go if you don't use the shortcut. So I'll see you back at the other bonfire. 
Okay, so this is the route that you would normally have to take, assuming you didn't use the shortcut that I used, because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. So I'm going to show you how to get through here safely, because if you know where you're going, it's incredibly easy. If you don't, you'll probably end up dying to the Bounding Demons, because they are dangerous as shit. Trust me, dragon asses are nothing to be messed with. Now, this place did get nerfed the shit out of very early on in Dark Souls when it was first released. These guys would hear you from a long, long way away, and they'd come running after you all the way across the freaking room, basically. But uh, yes, they nerfed that. There's literally only one that will hear you, assuming you go down the correct path, and even that one can be avoided entirely, assuming you sort of walk back and forth around the building until he loses interest. So I'll show you how to do that to get through here safely, because like I say, there is a soul of a great hero, and I believe they're worth 20,000 souls, and I want those souls, goddammit. I will have those souls. So yeah, not that dangerous if you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, dangerous as crap. And there's two sort of giant pagodas here. The first one has the soul of a great hero, the other one has a secret bonfire with an illusory wall that you have to smash down to get to it. So yes, I'll show you both of those, then I think we'll end the video there. Now, if I remember correctly, and I think I am, I believe this is the Pagoda or whatever the hell these things actually are, where the Bounding Demon will actually hear you. He's kind of round just near the soul of a great hero. If you don't go after that, you can avoid the guy entirely, but uh, yes, that one right there. We have to run past him, he will come after us. But like I say, you can run around the corner and sort of, he'll lose interest, and then you can just double back around the other side, and he's like, huh? Where'd he go? I'm just an ass. I can't see anything. Yep, that's him shaking the screen. There we go, a soul of a great hero. 20,000 goddamn souls. Oh god, it's beautiful. Okay, so, I believe he should be over on the right, so if we go around here... Hello? Bounding demon? Okay, he's right there. What's up, buddy? I think if we just go around here, we can just double back around behind him, and he won't even know where the hell we've gone, because again, he's just an ass. He can't see a damn thing. They're like the T-Rexes in Jurassic Park. Their vision is based on movements. <laughs> just... Don't go anywhere near them. Okay, so that guy's not even coming after us. Usually, if you didn't double back around the building, he would be chasing along after you as you're up here. Don't think you're safe up here. They can jump extremely high and slam down on you. Don't dick around with that guy. I believe this is, yes, Twin Humanities. That is all there is to loot here. I believe, at least I think so. That is literally the only two things in the entirety of Lost Eyes Lift. That's it. I shit you not. And this is the last bonfire you would normally be at before the better chaos. Make sure you wear the orange charred ring, you run out there, straight ahead, there's a route, you go up that, it will lead you around to the boss. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end it here, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time, for more Dark Souls.